discussing over the prefixes for five sessions and most frequently used for two sessions, I want to classify the words in a comparative methods to make it clearly understood. Sumerians used to say sık to mention to hear. Even though this word is so close to such, in ancient Turkish, sığın shows these two words were almost the same. To mention to hear, Sumerians used kışıttuk or mayışıttuk. And in Turkish, işıttuk means hearing. To refer to nose, Sumerians used the word bırık, which is obvious that its similarity to brun can't be just by accident. Let's consider the word eme, which means tongue in Sumerian. What do you think about its relation with Turkish? Words like yeme, which means eating, and emme, to mean sucking, may seem like one another. But I believe that word deme is much close to telling in meaning. Sumerians used to mouse with ka gu. Analyzing this word shows that the Sumerians used ka for door and gu for sound. And it is interesting that the Turks used kapi for mention to door and gu to refer to sound. So it is quite interpretable to use the dora sound in both languages. Yet the most complicated facial member to explain is I, which the Sumerians used e gi for referring to it. Studying the word e at the beginning of e gi, we get the meaning of fat, which is mentioned by P in Turkish. And ki is seen in a, a few cases like gile, uh, meaning eyeball, and ilgi, meaning attention. It is also considered as the root of göz, which means uh, eye, and gör, meaning seeing. In Turkish, the combination of ilgi refers to close attention and seeing, which is quite understandable to Turkish-speaking ones.